My friends, unfortunately, Ford is in a lot of trouble. Ford's electric car sales have fallen again. Apparently, its executives and CEO are not concerned about the, the growing numbers of electric cars in Ford dealerships all around North America, which aren't selling. Now, the marquee, there is 120 days of inventory. That is not a good sign, especially considering the fact that Ford have cut prices. And now we've just seen their delivery numbers in the United States over the past month, and they're very disappointing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Bit of a sour note here, bit of a sad note. I, Like I said, I love Ford. I would happily have a Ford F-150 Lightning. Mac E, I'm not convinced it's a great vehicle, but you know, that's a little tip you uh, to Australians here where the Mac E is coming soon for $80,000. I think it's drastically overpriced. Put it this way, Americans, here in Australia, Mac E <laughs> costs $15,000 more for the base model Mach-E versus the base model Tesla Model Y. Now, I think the base model Tesla Model Y is better than the base model Mach-E at $80,000, but would you really pay an extra $10,000 US dollars for the base model Mach-E versus the Model Y? I don't think so. You'd have to be crazy, or you just want something different. You just, I don't know, you hate Elon Musk so much, you want to cut off your face to spite you. You know what I'm saying? Really strange strategy here from Ford. And unfortunately, Ford's strategy lately with its electric car development isn't working. It's apparently putting a lot of its production on hold, slowing down its plans, which is very disappointing because it needs to actually increase them. But unfortunately, its vehicles aren't selling. Why are they not selling? Well, the F-150 Lightning isn't selling because it's had five successive price increases. If you do that, well, your demand goes down. But Ford are losing around 32,000 US dollars per vehicle they sell. That was in the second quarter of this year. That is alarming. In July, the total sales of Ford and Lincoln vehicles in the US increased by 6% year over year to 173,640. Over the first seven months of the year, that total resulted in a good increase in car sales. 1.2 million cars sold by Ford. In the US, an increase of 9.4%. However, unfortunately, things aren't so good for electric cars. Why? Because EVs aren't as compelling. Well, I think they're more compelling than its internal combustion engine choices, but clearly not as compelling as other electric cars. In July, Ford EV sales were 6,280. That is a minuscule number. That's a very, very disappointing. I mean, remember, Ford was meant to hit production this year of 600,000. That's 1%. And 18% less sales than one year ago. That's about 3.8% of Ford's volume, meaning only 3.8% of the cars Ford have sold this year have been electric. Well, in the month of July. Last year, it was 5%. So Ford had gone from 5% electric to 3.8%. If you ask me, that unquestionably means you're going backwards. And the media... Well, they've all been telling us Ford and General Motors were going to usurp Tesla pretty anytime soon, basically, with their manufacturing might, their brand power, and, well, the exact opposite, unfortunately, for them is what is happening. Model sales. Ford Mustang Mach-E sales are down 21% year over year. The car is the cheapest it's ever been. It qualifies for the tax incentive, $7,500 US dollars. Well, you can get a Mac E now for less than forty thousand US dollars after applying those tax incentives. How on earth are sales down? I mean, basically, you can get a similar car now for around fifteen thousand US dollars less on average across the entire range, and yet sales are down twenty one percent. That's very concerning. Three thousand nine hundred thirty seven sold in the month of July. F-150 Lightning, even their sales have drastically fallen. I mean, Ford said they had more than two hundred thousand pre orders. Clearly, those buyers are cancelling. We've heard from dealers, a lot of buyers are cancelling because of the price rises, the price increases. 1,552 Ford F-150 Lightnings were delivered. That's down 30% versus last year. Ford E-Transit is actually improving. It's pretty much the only compelling electric van you can buy. It's got the market all to itself. 791 were delivered. That's an increase of 50% year over year. Total 6,280 down 18% year over year for a 3.8% share of Ford's sales. So far this year, Inside EVs says that Ford has sold 
32,000 or just under 32,000 fully electric cars in the United States. That's 4% than a year ago when they weren't even making really en masse the F-150 Lightning. That's 2.8% of the brands. So 2.8% of all the cars sold by Ford this year have been fully electric. Ford are really stalling here in terms of their electrification. Moving to electrification is surprisingly going to be a much bigger challenge for Ford than I think they thought it would be. Remember that last year about this time, Ford, Jim Farley, the CEO, said we had our iPhone moment. We realized that there is amazing demand for electric cars. Well, there is, just not for the ones that they're producing at the prices they're selling them at. Give you some context here. In 2022, Ford more than doubled its electric car sales to 61,575. It more than doubled them last year. This year, they're down significantly. Now, remember, Ford's sales across the company have increased by 10% this year. And that includes their decrease in EV sales. This shows you there's some serious problems with demand for the, the products that Ford are producing. The F-150 Lightning, only 1,552 vehicles. That's down 30%. Now, Ford are saying that they've increased production to the point where they can make 150,000 units yearly. And yet, they deliver 1,552, even though they have more than 200,000 pre-orders. Something does not add up. Mustang Mach-E, same issue. It's so cheap now. I think $44,000 for the lithium-ion phosphate base model. Now, yes, sure, the range isn't great. That's still an incredible price for the car that that is. $7,500 tax credit. You're going to get one of those for just over $36,000. Dealers are apparently discounting them. I've seen on Ford's website, you can get a discount. With a Mach-E, a further few thousand dollars off. You can probably get a Mach-E now for around $35,000 with the incentives applied and still... They're barely selling in a massive United States car market that is at record highs over the last couple of months. What on earth is going on, Ford? This is really a crisis issue here for Ford, in my opinion. We're talking massive disruption. You know, we're going from we're going to iPhones from away from Nokia's and you know, ring, 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 ring. You know, analog telephones, EVs are unquestionably the future. Tesla sales have increased. EV sales worldwide have hit a record 19%. That's nearly double last year. My friends, EVs are most certainly in demand, but Fords, unfortunately, are not. Ford, by the way, I'm putting my hand up. I'm happy to test drive a Mackie here in Australia for a few months, and maybe you can count that as a sale. I'm not going to buy one, though. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.